Hello everyone and welcome to the Quarantine Diaries episode 2. Uh, hi mum, pretty sure she's got Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm okay. I thought today we would focus on answering a couple of the questions that you had asked me yesterday. So specifically the main one that really seemed to come up was say you're in quarantine but how, how is the state going to actually enforce your quarantine? You know, how, what's stopping you just going outside, for example? And uh, I was really thinking about this last night um, while I had jet lag. And I came up with there were three reasons why you have to fulfill quarantine as such. The first reason is to do with the technology, uh, technological surveillance that the Chinese government has access to. That's everything from high, uh, high definition uh, cameras that are all over the city and actually track temperature. Um, if you ever lose something in Shanghai, you're very likely to get it back just because everything is recorded. Uh, and the second thing is to do with the fact that the tech companies, so the Amazon and Google equivalents, Tencent and Alibaba, are very good at sharing data with the government, uh, especially during a time like this. So if I'm on a list that says Aaron Solomons is not allowed out, of his compound, then the moment I go outside the compound, if one of the map companies, for example, is tracking that, then that data would go back um, to the government and then something would get raised and someone would come and see me. So the first reason why is to do with the technology uh, and the power of technology of surveillance apparatus available here. The second reason is to do with the fact that there are so many security guards outside of my compound. Um, part of the contract that exists between the Chinese government and the people here is that people get richer, have got richer and richer. Over the last 20 years, um, economic growth has been between 6, 10, uh, even more than 10%. And as part of that, um, one of the things that the government's very good at doing is making sure that everyone has a job. So that means everything from street cleaners, if you walk around Shanghai, the main road, um, it's absolutely spotless. Like There's no dirt. It's actually a big a shock when I come back to London is how much cleaner Shanghai is. And uh, similar to that is every single compound has loads and loads of security guards. And that's simply because keeping people employed and making sure that people are getting economically richer is extremely important method that the, uh, the government uses to keep stability here. And uh, number three is to do with the fact that China is very much a collective society and the, what matters for the group is more important than the individual. And as part of that, the reason I'm in quarantine is not to protect me, it's to protect everyone else. It's to stop other people becoming infected. And therefore, your neighbours are really, really enforcing it as well. And there's quite a lot of interesting videos on the internet of, for example, people looking out their windows and making notes of the registrations of cars that are driving when they shouldn't have been driving, and neighbours physically like stopping uh, people from leaving their flats when they shouldn't have. So it's not just that the state and the government that are enforcing my movements, it's actually um, my neighbours as well. So just a bit of a summary, there are three reasons why um, I very much can't move for the next 14 days. One is the surveillance technology. Uh, one is the fact that there's a lot of security guards because everyone needs a job in China. And number three is to do with the fact that my neighbours are watching me. So, enough of that. Obviously, you've got any more questions about that, let me know. But uh, let's go have a look at uh, the security guards outside. And you can see there's a guy here who's the first security man. He's got a temperature check gauge. Um, there's also another guy in the, over there. I'm not sure if you can quite see, but there's another guy just behind there. So that's just two people. And then if you go over to the post, there's this guy who's guarding the post. Because of, uh, because of the virus, um, all the deliveries, instead of going to people's houses, all have to go out here, uh, including delivery men. So there is my lunch. So my lunch has been delivered to the outside of my compound instead of inside of my compound. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Look, all the stuff outside. I hope you enjoyed your trip outside. Um, I actually tried to film again, but uh, I don't know if you saw at the end of the video, there's about four or five security guards. So I tried to uh, film again, but they started getting a bit angry and I couldn't really explain myself out of the situation. So I'm probably not going to do any more filming of security guards like that. Uh, but a couple of quite interesting things. I don't know if you saw the guy that was guarding the post. 
has a communist flag uh, like emblem. So he's obviously some kind of like volunteer uh, to kind of guard the post. And uh, the other thing, I was trying to point to someone that was in that uh, guard station -y thing, but I don't think it was that clear. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know if, as well if you saw the lunch that I'm having is a Subway. So for those of you that just think I eat dumplings here, well, I do actually eat a lot of dumplings, but I also eat Subway. Um, so great. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that answers the questions of why I really need to do the quarantine as well. And I will think of something for tomorrow. So right, enjoy, your, uh, enjoy the rest of your days. Peace.